here, I mean, having a final all Canadian final is quite something. Oh, it's really special. It was so hard to race against Canada. Honestly, I just pretended she was someone else. We share a room back in the house, so, I mean, she's been pushing me in training. She's coming so fast. That I'm glad I was able to hold her off one more time. <laughs> It's always so much fun to watch the athletes watching themselves, the smiles of Monique Sullivan and Kate O'Brien, as you saw that. That was so nice to see. Congratulations, ladies. That's just great. The clanking of the hardware here is unbelievable because they have five medals between them. Monique with three golds and Kate with a gold and a silver, so five all told. Let me just begin this conversation by telling you that Monique Sullivan has done something that no Canadian cyclist has ever done, and that is win three gold medals at a Pan Am Games. That is history. Congratulations. How does that feel? Oh, it's just surreal. I mean, it's something I sort of dreamed of, but I didn't want to let myself uh, think about too much. So we just focused on the process. And uh, we really worked together for this event, and we really built up strong for it. And it's, it's just great to see the progression and see the team doing so well. The whole team, everybody on the track cycling team got a medal so oh, it's really cool terrific. that everyone 10 medals in yeah. all so we're gonna I, I will bring you in Kate just a second but let me set this up because not only was it that that history uh, medal performance over the course of the competition but to see yourselves one and two to hero Canada as you did for the third time that experience Monique yeah it's amazing for for me especially we have, we've never had a lot of development on the women's side in spin program so to see an all canadian final it's just a dream come true and every day we're training together and pushing together and kate's man kate's knocking on the door and <laughs> it's getting harder and harder to beat uh, her, there so. are the medals there's kate getting your silver there jump in you get the microphone now kate because we've had a couple of situations on the program where we've talked to to two competitors who are teammates in some events and then become rivals in other events. So here you are, gold medalist in the team sprint, and then you're facing each other in the individual final. What's the dynamic as you experienced it? Um, I think it's always sort of a tricky thing when you have to race a teammate, but at the same time, it's kind of a great opportunity because you've trained with them for so long and you kind of do just have to, you know, put the put the friendship out of your mind for really? a bit because obviously you, able to you don't do want to... You don't want to beat your friend, but at the same time, um, you know, it's, it's such a cool opportunity to kind of use what you've, what you've learned in training. And um, the fact that we were guaranteed two medals going into that final, it was just such Terrific. a great thing. Did you know any of her tricks? I mean, you know some of her inside, you know, <laughs> practices, don't you? You got inside information on each other. Were you able to bring any of that to the race? Um, well, I think that we both we both know a lot of each other's <laughs> tricks. Uh, we've we've trained them together, kind of. So um, we each had to kind of bring our our A game, and um, and he came out on top. And I mean, if it wasn't going to be me that won, then I was so glad that it was her. So. I'm going to come back to Monique in a second, but one more question for you right now. Uh, you've come to this sport recently. It's just been the last year. You've been training competitively full-time for track cycling. You came to this sport from bobsleigh. Now, tell me about that process and maybe how bobsleigh is, is helping you in track cycling now. Um, well, I think a lot of the training that we did in bobsleigh was very similar to kind of the work that we would do in track cycling, obviously with the exception of the bike on the actual right. track itself. But the strength, um, the strength, and strength and training the, and stuff yes. is very, very similar. And a lot of the attitudes I find toward um, like the intensity that you find in sprint athletes is certainly there in track cycling as well. Um, I was fortunate enough to be able to compete on both circuits this past year. And so now, you know, now that the, the focus is really on track cycling, I'm, I'm pretty excited about what's to come. Where are your place? All right, back to you with the microphone, Monique, because you mentioned the development of the team. I mean, if we think back to London in 2012, you were the only female track cyclist, correct? You didn't have teammates to push you along. You didn't have full-time coaching. It looks to me and to others, you know, the reality has changed today. What is the, what is the situation today for you? The situation's uh, extremely different, and I think uh, there's been some talk about a, a surprise performance from the team, but for us it's not really a surprise. It's something we've been working towards and building, and uh, we've really set up a, a really positive daily training environment, and so every day we're able to train um, our very best because we have the facilities and the staff and the support. So you have that, but you're based at the Velodrome um, now, is that right? Yes, yes. yes. so we're... Um, the whole sprint program will be now based in Milton. So it's really exciting for us to have that support and also just to see 
it's just so nice to see the hard work paying off because there's so many people that work together to make this happen. And so I'm really great? glad I was able to do it for the team. But to ride it out, to, to use a butt, I mean, you've been toiling in the void and now you've got all these resources around you. That must be just very reward, very satisfying, I guess, to know what you can do with now this bringing to bear. Yeah, it's uh, really starting to believe in in the potential of the program. It's uh, it's really special. Well, then we look to Worlds, we look to qualifying, we look to Rio. Pass that back to Kate because your 16th. You've only been a team as far as the team event for you know since you've been cycling together. So you're already 16th in the world. You were under 34 seconds in your final. That was a Pan Am record. Under 34 in, in just a very short time together. Kate, look to the future for us. What, what does it hold for the two of you? Well, I mean, if, if this is any indicator, um, you know, we're coming, I guess. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's, it's hard to say exactly what's to come, but I think that as long as we keep having similar progressions and it, the more that we're together as a team, you know, the better that we're going to get um, from both a physical and just a team dynamic perspective. So um, I'm really excited about the next, you know, year or years or who knows, um, just to kind of see what happens with us. Wow. All the best in that. Can you go back to being friends now? Yeah. You're back on track. Okay, you're back smiling and liking each other again. All right, Kate O'Brien with the gold and the silver in the team and the individual sprint. And Monique Sullivan with three golds. Team sprint, individual sprint, and the Kieran as well. Congratulations on an exceptional result for you both. Nice to meet you and thanks for coming in.